Okay, so we're we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna stop for some short jokes over here today, okay? Oh. Is it because you're short? Why? Yeah, very well. That's funny. Uh, once upon a time, uh, there was a baby. He ate some airplane food, and um, then he went onto a boat and ate some boat food. And uh, turns out he wasn't a baby after all. That was actually me. I'm going in. Howdy over here. Y'all ever, y'all ever look down at your penis and wonder? Hey, I wonder what that would look like with full skin. Me too. Me too. I got three dicks. Which one you want to see first? The one on your testicle. The one on my testicle? I got two on my head. I got two floppy dicks coming out the sides of my head. And I got one dick below. Which one? So what the hell are you doing here? I don't know what I'm doing up here. I just wanted the, the attention. Uh, what has more brains than Kurt Cobain? The wall next to him. The wall behind him, you dumb fuck. Oh, I don't know, dude. I guess. <laughs> so, I was playing with my dick last night, right? And I noticed it was long, right? <laughs> and this lump, right? It started talking to me all of a sudden. It was like, hey, you beat me too much, man. I was like, nah, man, I don't beat you enough. And then so I proceeded to beat his ass. And then I, I think I killed him because all this shit came out the tip. Anyway. Uh, no, okay. <laughs> anyway, how, how does a goat um, go Super Saiyan? Ground beef. Come in, come in. I don't know. What is the deep airline food? <laughs> I, I'm asking what's up with that? It's like there, there's not enough peanuts for the whole plan. It doesn't make sense. But you want to know what's funny? But what's, you know what's funny? You like putting air nuts in your mouth. That's what you're saying. You like putting them air nuts in your mouth. Yeah. Well, so, there you so go. What's the deal with airline food? That's my question. I don't know. Nuts? Oh, what's you, here's the question. You know the goddamn Sprite that they have? It's a Sprite. I, f I went back I went back, and I just saw the cans of the shit. It's just literally called sparkling water. Or like spark soda. It's fucking stupid. Yeah. It's not Sprite. They said Sprite just to get you to buy it. And you have to pay money for it too if you're not in first class. Well, what's yeah. That? Yeah. It's fucking. It's not. It's just cheap yeah. knockoff yeah. ass. <laughs> it's the worst shit you'll ever taste, dude. I still don't like know what the deal with airline food is. <laughs> you <mom. laughs> uh, The deal with airline food. It's basically a gov conspiracy. Every single bit of it has a small computer in it that tracks wherever you fly. And every time you land somewhere, and every time you land somewhere, whenever you step foot into that new country or new state, your Amen. foot gets another computer chip in it. And that's airline food for you. Connect I've been on a lot of planes, so like... I think you're wrong. I, you think is I'm wrong? I, what do you think? All right, then come up here and tell me what the deal with airline food is. All right. All right. The deal with airline food, right? You get a steak for about 40 pounds in first class, right? And it's just like, it's just a bit of rubber, really. You know, you feel me? Like, what the fuck is that? I paid 40 pounds for a gosh oh, shit, dude. Oh, no. Oh, it feels bad. Anyway, airline food. Oh, he's, yeah. They, they tell you that you're good. They, hit the, they give you this small little, I don't know, a fucking receipt with a couple of words on it, like the menu. And get it. It's, it's like, here, is, we, got, uh, uh, we got chips, we got some, we got some nuts. It's all overpriced. Like, what kind of chips? <laughs> the only thing you get for free wine, is nuts, and they're fuck, awful. The fucking, uh, fucking, like, little tiny-ass bottles of booze that they got. That's it's cool, like, dude. The, 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 <laughs> that's wrong. I say it. It's wrong, dude. Uh, oh, American, American salt for chips. All right, then yes. tell me exactly what's wrong with airline food. Come here, blondie. It tastes rubbish. But the it problem with airline food is that it's airline food. Am I right? <laughs> hey. It's food on airlines. Like that doesn't make. How do you get food on airlines? Like where do they get that stuff from? All right, the deal with with it is you're in the air and you're just chowing down on some food and it's. <laughs> what the fuck even is that? I'm just trying to have a nice flight. I'm going to a different country. I'm not even gonna remember this flight. Fucking twelve hours later, but like. The food would be bad for a reason, though. Like, it's cooked on a plane. What do you expect? Right, here's, uh, here's, just, here's just a quick... Airline peanuts. All right, this is just I a just quick... like to say, right. airline food is underrated, and the people work very hard, so we should respect them. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, I, I'm gonna, here's a quick story about the first time I went flying. This is the first time I actually 
The first time I went flying commercially, like I flew to fucking London for this shit. And it's like 12 hour flight. I don't know, you could like it inside you. Anyway. Anyway, for like to London, I go. And I. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, hell no. I got some better. This will get up. This will get. You're gonna guys, this is fucking fake, but trust me. The movie that I watched on the 12 hour flight. Can someone just kid up? Can, can someone just. Just man. <laughs> Could the first, the honest guy, the movie that I watched, it's this dude in the front, what's his fucking name? Uh, Mortius. There yeah, bye bye. There we go. Alright. Honest to God, the movie that I watched for the 12 hour flight was Snake's Plane. I don't think that's on point with my stories of my uncle, right? So one day, we were at a farm, right? And we went into like the little back barn, you know, like where they keep the chickens. But like, there was no chickens there. And I was wondering where all the animals were. They said, right, I'm going to teach you how to milk a cow blindfolded. So I put my hand around something, something pretty warm. It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't like any cow that I've ever held. And he says, go ahead, Ryan, find the Christmas pickle. I reach in and I move my hand around behind needles and I feel something that I feel something that feels like a pickle all over <laughs> and I pull but it doesn't come out and I hear it's like I hear it's like ugh behind the tree and I ask what was that and he says oh I got poked by the lights keep going <laughs> so I pulled again and I hear another ugh <laughs> And then he said, maybe if you shake it, it'll come loose. <laughs> but my needles were too thick. I couldn't see inside. But I just kept pulling and pulling. <laughs> and then about three, four minutes later, I felt something on my hands. I felt something wet on my hands. I pulled my hand out. And he said, oh, you just broke the pickle jar, son. Go grab the pickle now. <laughs> <laughs> and I went in, and I pulled out the real Christmas pickle, and then I looked at it, and the jar was intact. And I said, Uncle Joey, why is the jar not broken? He said, <laughs> son, sonny, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, he put his pants and ran outside. It was not my house, dear. Thank you for your time. Um, so I'm going to be doing my Kermit the Frog impression. Hey ho, Kermit the Frog here, and I am, um, a frog here. Aha! Yes, this guy gets it, this guy over here gets it. Thanks. And this guy, this guy, what a great audience. Good night. I'll be here all week. Shit. Shalom ding dong, put in my bum. Put it in my bum like a fondom. Ah. I like a dick in my bum. I call oh her mom. Oh. Alright, alright. What's the difference between a blonde and a mosquito? A mosquito stops sucking when you slap it. Oh, shut the fuck up, man. God damn it. <laughs> I do not know that joke.